You know, I was telling you I was up in Canada. And uh, the one thing I noticed that up there, uh, the, the, close, the farther north you get, you go up through Vermont and New Hampshire and stuff like that, you get up to Maine, and you start seeing these moose warnings <laughs> and signs. And I'm actually a published author with one book about mooses. And uh, I, I like mooses in general. And specific, specific ones that I imagine. I, I used to, uh, I remember when my kids were young, uh, they used to, you know, read them scary moose books and stuff like that. They were in abundance in those days. Now you can't find nothing like that. I mean, you, you, would, you would think today that they never even existed. You know what I'm saying? I mean, the stuff that comes out now for kids is just, I mean, that all that self-esteem building, educational, it's got to be good for you, you know, make you feel good about yourself, crap. I don't know who come up with that stuff, but it's just wrong. And I want to say that. It's just, it's not just wrong, it's bad. And, uh, you know, I mean, most of the stuff for kids, when I was, uh, you know, a, a young dad, uh, most of the stuff for kids was, the idea was you had to get them to go to sleep at night. You know what I mean? And so you'd read them these books and poems and sing them little songs and stuff like that. And all of a sudden it became, you know, something that had to be good for you. And, 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 but the truth is, if, if you're sitting there at night and you're a little kid and start feeling good about yourself, you don't want to go to sleep anymore. <laughs> it defeats the whole purpose of what these kids' things are for. And so years ago I wrote a little moose poem which I will share with you right now. <clears throat> Mooses come walking up over the hill. Mooses come walking, they rarely stand still. When mooses come walking, they walk where they will. And mooses come walking up over the hill. Mooses look into your window at night. They look to the left and they look to the right. The mooses are smiling, they think it's a zoo. That's why the mooses like looking at you. So if you see mooses while lying in bed, it's best just to stay there, pretending you're dead. <laughs> the mooses will leave, and you'll get the thrill of seeing the mooses go over the hill. <laughs> while we're on the subject of animals, I remember when I was a little kid, I, I went to see a, a friend of my father's play one night. He was here this afternoon, and uh, I think he'll come back on Sunday. It was a guy named Ramblin' Jack Elliott. And, uh, and I remember sitting there, and I must have been about seven, eight, nine years old, something like that. And most of the songs were going over my head. I wasn't that interested. But I liked Jack, and he, he, he told good stories every once in a while. Caught my attention. But there was a song he sang that night. And when I left the show, I knew every word to that song. I did not forget one word. And I knew it the next morning, too. It was a song about a boy and his dog. And I remember, I, I must have wanted a dog that year. Maybe that's why the song stayed with me, but it was something like, When I was a boy, an old chef was a pup. Over hills and mountains we'd stray. Just a boy and his dog, we were both full of fun. We grew up together that way. I remember the time by the old swimming hole when I would have drowned beyond doubt. But old Sheppy was there to the rescue he came. He jumped in and helped pull me out. And it went on about a boy and his dog. And I remember saying to myself that night, I said, Arlo, someday you're going to write you an animal ballad. <laughs> Here's mine. <laughs> me and my goose. <laughs> me and my pal. We had some very good times. Me and my goose, his name was Al. 
And he cost only a dime Over mountains we'd stray Playing all day I missed him at night until dawn Then one day I found He wasn't around I wondered where Al could have gone I looked everywhere He just wasn't there where could a goose be all day? I miss my pal. I miss my owl. It's sad that things turned out this way. Then mom brought him in. I remember her grin. Stuffed with his feet, pointed straight. I'll never forget it. The night that we had Out <laughs> off of the old yellow plane <laughs> Thank you. I know it's sick <laughs> That's why I like it <laughs>